Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're unable to print a file and it opens the Save As window instead on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu and type in Troubleshoot. Best result, trigger back with Troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select other troubleshooters on the right side here. And then you want to go and underneath most frequent, you want to select printer. And then select the run button that corresponds to it. And then give it a moment here to run. And if it gives any suggestions or feedback, I recommend following along with them here. Something else I recommend trying here as well would be to actually restart both your computer and the printer. I find that that can often be a helpful solution in resolving that issue, or at least a lot of problems, honestly, with the printer, just by restarting your device. You know, so that seems to clear some of the problems you may be having, and clears the printer queue, and if there's any other issues such as that. So that's something else I'd recommend trying. And then you can also go ahead and close out of here. And you want to open up the search menu, type in Control Panel. Best result, check them back with Control Panel. Go ahead and open that up. Set your view by to category view. And you want to select underneath hardware and sound, view devices and printers. Go ahead and select the printer you want to set as your default printer here, guys. You might be selecting the PDF one by default, like save as PDF for Microsoft Print to PDF. You want to go ahead and actually select the printer you want to set as your default printer, which is probably why you're having that problem, frankly. You're going to go ahead and right-click on the printer, and you're going to select to set as default printer, again, for the printer you want to set as default, and you will select OK. And that's all you have to do. There'll be a little green check mark next to it, so you'll know that it is currently the default printer. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.